Hello everyone, Raylan Alamo here with Citadel Catholic Media. Well, we took our show on the road earlier this year. We were invited to speak to a group of families over in Lafayette, Louisiana. And we had the pleasure of meeting up in a very masculine environment of an all-field service company's tool room. We were talking about the big rocks of life and how to wisely use our time with our families. So come on in and sit back and enjoy the show. It's tool time. God bless you. So we, we have control over that. We can decide how we do that. As I said, we plan. We have a vision of, of how our, our household is supposed to run. And what works best that I have seen is scheduling things. Some people don't like to talk about scheduling things. But you're here now. <coughs> and y'all probably, looking at some of these men and these ladies here too, y'all probably have a few other things you could be doing right now. Just a few. I know I do. And we're all good Catholics here, and I would guess that you probably <coughs> all go to Mass on Sunday. How does that happen when you're so busy? It's a big rock. There's a time for it, and nothing else can fit in that time slot because it's a big rock. And this could be done in all of these areas if we decide that it's important. And nothing else is allowed to get in to that spot. If you don't like scheduling, let's just call it dedicating time, okay? Just saying, put the big rocks in. And, and, and at times, whenever things get that way for me, it's like it feels like something's getting in the way. It's like, well, it's a big rock. I just keep thinking back to this right here. So I want to focus on three areas. I've got a little bit of time left. Um, these right here, marriage and parenting. This is our vocation. This is our dedication to God, our relationship with our spouses. And how did that, how did we get there to begin with? How did we get connected with our spouses? We spent time. We spent time together communicating. We know each other well. And how often does it happen where the end of the day comes and everybody's exhausted and we collapse and we haven't spend any time talking with our spouses. So, big rock. Set aside some time every day to make sure we communicate again. Not just about scheduling the errands. I gotta take the kids to the orthodontist or we have to, um, we have this appointment or that practice or this rehearsal. Not, not, not all the details, but about what's going on inside of each of us. How are we spiritually? Are we, are we growing? Is there something bothering us? Courting our spouses. You know, it was exciting in the courting days. Missy and I have continued to do that for 21 years. You know, we like to set a, a, a night aside every week as a date night. And some people think that sounds a little cheesy or, or strange or whatever, but, and it doesn't have to be anything of spending money. It's not that it has to be an expense, but just some time away, some time alone. You know, find a sitter, and if, if it can't be every weekend or anything, just some time. Make that, that commitment, that investment in the marriage. And as men, we need to recall, we need to remember to listen to our wives. Sometimes just to not say anything and just be there to listen. Because things are bothering them. They tend to worry. And if they could just express that and then we can resolve it. We can just um, set those fears and anxieties to rest. It's a load off of them. Favorite expression to my wife lately has been, don't worry baby, I got it. So she doesn't worry about it. She knows I got it. 